let's understand what is our data visualization first. So we all know that data visualization is nothing but uh, a pictorial representation of your data, right? So when you draw that data into the pictorial representation, your end users, your clients, your customers can easily draw the conclusion, hey, this is my total sales, this is my total profit, this is the profit based on the products, based on the product categories, based on the regions, locations, over the period of time. So you can easily draw those conclusions with the help of the data visualization, right? So data visualization is nothing but a combination of various visuals, which will have various measures and KPIs plotted. And it lets you do the slice and dice in, you know, it, it has a various features uh, within Power BI that will let you do the interaction with your reports or dashboards, right? You can use a slicer, you can use a filter, you can use a, a bookmarks, you can use various other features, which is available in the Power BI, uh, uh, you know, uh, as, a, as a tool, right? And this is the most recent developments, right? Every, every organization wants to have these functionalities in place when we talk about the enterprise reporting uh, solutions or enterprise reporting applications, right? You know, so uh, data visualization in a nutshell, it's an easy way to convey the concepts or the informations in a very universal fashion where everyone, you know, even a layman can understand what this data is talking about. So, why data visualization is important, right? Why, why we need to have the data visualization you know, in place? So there are various types of analysis that uh, an organization or a business wants to do, right? The very first pointer is identifying the key areas and hidden patterns, right? So for example, uh, let's continue with the e-commerce uh, example where uh, the business wants to know what are the reasons behind the you know downfall of a sales you know for for xyz category or xyz business line why there is very less sales you know what are the factors responsible for that so in that case a good visualization can help you factor those pieces you know in one visualization and you can analyze that you want to see the uh, you know occurrence of the occurrences of the various events right how many times a given event is happening over the period of time so if you wanted to carry out the changes over over the period of time if you want to analyze that again visualization can help you in a better way right uh, then uh, determining the frequency you know so how many times a person is ordering a given product what is the behavior of a person right uh, how many times a given uh, you know event has been triggered in a given scenario, right? So that can be again explained with the help of the visuals, then uh, analyzing and associating data and products properly. So when it comes to the, uh, you know, uh, marketing, like, you know, uh, the, the sales professionals, they wanted to read the customer, you know, buying behaviors. They wanted to analyze what the customer is, you know, cust customer uh, mood is, you know, what, what, what are the pointers which we should focus based on that the customer should go about, you know, go for buying this particular service or a product, right? So in that case, you know, when you wanted to do that kind of analysis, I would say demographic analysis, and then based on that, you can align your products and services. That's where uh, visualizations plays a very crucial role. And finally, making the predictions. So we all know that in today's environment, we all talk about AI, machine learning, NLP, and all that, right? So we have a, a Power BI, which has got a powerful built-in uh, AI uh, you know, AI capabilities where you can leverage those capabilities and um, uh, do the prediction, you know, predictions and do the predictive analysis, right? So these are the few few pointers that uh, uh, I highlighted here for uh, uh, the importance of the data visualizations. Uh, there are many more. There could be thousands of reasons why an organization wants to go for it. But yeah, these are the common ones.